Ladies and gentlemen, it's a pleasure to greet the participants of the World Policy Conference. Today, an estimated 840 million people suffer from chronic hunger, and another 2 billion people suffer from micronutrient deficiencies. 26% of the world children are stunted. Malnutrition costs around 5% of the value of global gross domestic product. That's the size of our challenge. And its urgency is captured in the Zero Hunger Challenge launched by UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon during the Rio Plus 20 conference. The food price crisis that started in 2007-2008 made one thing very clear. Individual responses are not enough. In today's world, the only way forward is to work together. There are many aspects to food security governance that development policy makers and leaders need to tackle. They include investments in agriculture, price volatility, and food production and consumption patterns. Global governance of food security is a central element in this process. The Reformed Committee on World Food Security is the cornerstone of current food security governance. The Voluntarist Guidelines on the Responsible Governance of Tenure will help assure the rights of food security of vulnerable rural communities. And once approved, the Principles for Responsible Agriculture Investment, RAE, will help assure that international finance for agriculture also contributes to food security. The Agriculture Market Information System, AMIS, Already set up by the G20, let us respond more effectively to price volatility. To support all these efforts, we need regional commitment to food security and regional integration structures, such as the CADAP mechanism under the African Union. And in this decision making process, we must involve a wide range of factors. This must include governance, international community, civil society, the private sector, and academia. Ladies and gentlemen, we have taken the first steps. Now we need to build on them to strengthen consensus. Thank you for your attention.